What's up, everybody? I hope everybody's been well. I know it's been a while since my last For Honor video, I should say, but let's be honest, there really hasn't been much going on in the For Honor world. It's been pretty much dead. I know they have a tournament that's going on right now for a good cause, F Cancer. I'm with everybody on that. I know we have the Peacekeeper Hero Fest that's going on. The Ocelotto hype has died down. But aside from that, it's, it's a little, it's the doldrum season. So I just want to address one thing and that's feats. I want to talk about feats. I know you saw the title, the, t the subject says they're a blessing and a curse and good Lord, they are a blessing and a curse. You'll be watching in some of the videos that I have here and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I use dang near every feat that I had and the only other one I couldn't use because I wasn't in the minion lane so of course that really didn't matter very much. But I really wanna get an idea of what you guys think about feats. Me personally, I like them. I like the feats, they're not balanced. They are not balanced. And as I'm sure a lot of you already noticed is like you'll get to the end of a match, right? Like maybe he's double breaking like what you're seeing right here and everybody has like saved all their feats for this moment. It was like, now's the moment. So let's let all of our feats go. I mean, it seemed like everybody, I was, they were throwing all kinds of feats at the end of this match. It was crazy. And that's expected. And that's something you guys gotta look for. If you look by your opponents, you know where you see the health bar. Right below that, you can see what feats that your enemy has unlocked. And it's important to pay attention to that because you don't want to get hit with a tier four or end up getting hit with any feat for that matter. So you definitely want to pay attention to that. I'm not quite sure how many of you even noticed it. Sometimes even I don't pay attention to it because I'll just be caught up in the match and it's just something I kind of look over. But make sure you're paying attention to that. It's right there, very noticeable. And you can see exactly how many of their tiers that they have unlocked. And the blessing part of tears is that it can get you out of a jam, as you'll see in these videos. It, it definitely gets me out of jams. You got to use them properly and use them at the right times. And you got to use them at unconventional times, too, because that will help you. If they're not expecting it, if your opponent's not expecting you to use it, it can get you out of a jam. But that's also the curse, right? Because don't you hate like if you got the advantage on your opponent, you're dominating your opponent or whatever, and then all of a sudden, they use a freaking tier, like maybe it's a tier three or something that just completely changes everything, you know? But that's part of the fun and that's why I continue to love For Honor because as soon as you think you have an advantage, next thing you know, you don't. You don't. And it's for many reasons. And that advantage can disappear because of feats or that advantage can disappear because of revenge as well. Because if you're using your feats at the inopportune time, and you and your opponent, you and your, I guess your teammate, your friend, whatever, are ganking the other teammate. You got a 2v1. You guys think, okay, we got this under control. We get this zone. We're, out, we're back in it. And next thing you know, your friend uses a dang feat, feeds revenge. And they, next thing you know, you're in trouble. You're sitting there with half health. They have three quarters health. And somebody with revenge, especially if they have bashes and then you have unblockables, they can erase that. And then when they come out of revenge, you have some feats that offer a shield or there's perks. I'm sorry, not a feat, but they have perks that offer a little shield. I think it's a, like 25 HP shield when you come out of revenge. So little things like that definitely can flip the script. So it's very important that you use the right perks, but we're talking about feats in this, but have the right feats and use them at the right time. If you think feats are gonna get reworked, you're wasting your breath if you're, if you're complaining about it because they're not gonna be reworked. We can't even get new maps, y'all. We can't even get new maps. I they're not gonna rework any feats. However, just like in the past, I know Nobu had her tier two. She had a tier two feat that was changed. And I think she got execution respite. Can't remember what that thing is called. And that used to be another feat. So they will tinker. They will make some changes based on balancing. So you can't expect that, but don't expect anything massive. Don't expect anything that's gonna be life changing, life altering to gameplay. But like I mentioned in the beginning, I wanna know what your thoughts are. 
What do you guys think about feet? Do you think, do you like them? Do you love them? What would you change? Have you ever looked at another hero's feet and been like, oh dang, if Conk had that feet or if Nobu had that feet that Orochi had, man, she would be perfect. Have you ever looked at anything like that? Let me know. I'm very curious because the whole mixing and matching, that seems like something that they could do. But me personally, I think I'm just stuck in my old ways now. I've been playing Nobu since the beginning and I just, whatever changes they give me, I just grumble on my porch, get off my lawn and there's really nothing I can do about it. I might complain a little bit and then I get used to it and I move on. But that's all I have for this one. I appreciate you guys stopping in all my for honor brothers and sisters i hope you guys are enjoying for honor still i know i am even though i jump in and out of it i'm still loving it every time i play it still has its frustrating times but it's, it's a lot of good times too so i'll catch y'all on the next one peace